I'm two kilometers up above the floor of Death Valley here in the USA, looking out over this tremendous view. It looks like an alien landscape, but there's a color down there which has a huge amount to tell us about things that we see every day. We think of white as a color of innocence and purity, but down there in this harsh landscape, those white streaks have two stories to tell. The first is the story of the tiny, of how this colour works and why it's so common. And the second is the story of the gigantic, because the way that this colour is concentrated here is a reminder of the scale of the processes that sculpt our planet and paint vast swathes of it in specific colours. fabulous viewpoint, I'm driving down into the valley to a place with a fantastic name, it's called the Badwater Basin and it's very very low down, it's not just the lowest place in this valley, it's the lowest place in all of North America and the bottom of it is 85 metres below sea level. This is what I could see from above the valley, and it's salt. There are hundreds of square kilometres of it here. It's just sodium chloride, what you'd find on your dinner table. But this salt and this colour has a little bit more to it than meets the eye. As far as I can see, and crunching under my boots, is what appears to be a solid carpet of brilliant white. But look at this salt more closely, and something strange happens. Here it is, a handful of salt, and it's bright white, just like all the salt around me. But the salt isn't really white, and we can see its true nature if we look at it under a microscope. And then this little camera is projecting an image onto the screen here. And what you can see is that each little crystal is a square, and that's because the salt crystals are cubes, they've got flat edges. There's an orange card behind, and we can see that orange card through these crystals, lights going straight through them and coming straight back out. And what that tells us is that these crystals aren't white, they're completely transparent. We don't see the colour of the card any differently, whether a salt crystal is in the way or not. White light from the sun comes in, an orange light bounces back from the card to our eyes. So if the crystals themselves don't have any colour at all, why is it that my little pile of salt here and all of this looks white? Well, we can see why if we start to move the microscope to where there's a big pile of them. If you've got a stack of crystals all together, the light comes in and it's bent as it passes through the first crystal and then bent again as it passes through the second crystal and so it's, it zigzags its way through the pile of salt and eventually it finds its way out to our eyes. With a pile of salt crystals, the sunlight bounces around inside them and never reaches the orange card. So its orange colour remains hidden beneath and never gets to our eyes. White light went in, bounced around, and white light came out. And that's why we see salt as white. Mm. 